Hello guys, welcome to yet another episode of Secret Chambers. So with you is Princess Hadija and Shamsa Yaakob. So our episode today is about excitement in marriages, shock relationship. Shamsa. Yeah, it's an interesting topic. <laughs> what have you here? Yeah. I mean, uh, are you excited as I am? Huh, I'm are you? excited. <laughs> yeah. Are you, the hey. viewers? Hey. Are you guys even ready? Let's start there. Um, to compile a TikTok Afro TV 254, YouTube Afro TV 254, and Facebook Afro TV 254. Very soon we should open up an Instagram account. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ha, secret chambers. Do you have to always re release all the secrets we have? Like, to know what I'm saying. Ha, okay. Tell us more. Let's talk about excitement in relationships stroke marriage first of all mm -hmm. we are not married but we have common sense to see people who are married mm -hmm. and we have also dated mm -hmm. so we know their words before going to marriage they are just the same they always say men come from the same <laughs> mother so don't judge us because we are not married e gender eh? e gender <laughs> go for e gender so we are not married and I'm also a counselor, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't judge us, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Omi, like we said, tell us. Yeah. Oh. Like we said, this is a secret chamber. It's a corner where you guys are free, we express, we bring up experiences. See here to Pekeake, Bali experiences, yeah, other people, like other people tell us things and they're like, share. Share this, share that, share this, share that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's about um, excitement in relationship yeah. or marriage. Mm -hmm. You get someone is married, but kile kenye your husband used to do or boyfriend used to do before you guys got in that particular place, amewacha. Yeah. Like now this person is super comfortable. You go to, after all, Lucy ni maliangu. That's how we, they call us, eh? mm -hmm. maliangu. Hey, maliangu. I Someone kukote. saying maliangu, at least even is better. <laughs> Uyo ni mama ya watoto yangu. <laughs> That's uh, hard. Yeah. Like, <laughs> before ni owe, ama before you started dating me, it was all like the babies. Mm. Han, abe, my love, sweetheart. And now, mama nani? I'm if you nani me in future. <laughs> ama flani. <laughs> uh, now you're in a relationship and they're like, <laughs> How dare you do that? <laughs> like, ati mama nani. I dated a guy who, who called me wewe mtoto wa Yakub. We! Nidi mwata the same day. <laughs> I cannot deal with that pressure anymore. <laughs> Imagine wewe mtoto wa Yakub. Mm -hmm. Wewe mstana wa Yakub. <laughs> I want him, don't, don't do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He repeated. <laughs> he repeated again and again. I said, it's fine. Like you're dating someone. <laughs> you're dating someone and then this someone goes as far as being like, so maybe you need to, uh, like for me, I'd say my nickname is Omi. And uh, very few people know me as Hadija. And then when I date you, Jangili, <laughs> argument kidogo asha type pale jina ko hadija ndio like so ati like attentive unataka kujua what like nimepoa nini ni nini like dude chill <laughs> it's not that serious <laughs> you you married to this person mm, yeah mukiaza ile honeymoon phrase baby sweetheart yes. do you want this people who are allowed go? to call me mama mama fulani are outsiders exactly. exactly but you you the husband <laughs> but it's baby you better call me wife wifey if you don't want to call me sweet names if you think i'm bitter habibi. call me wife habibi habibti La i know i'm sweet even if you don't call me but don't call me mama nani <laughs> <laughs> mama nani tunakula nini leo <laughs> unajikula 
<laughs> how dare you? <laughs> like, how dare you? <laughs> I don't think some, some men. Okay, that this. Kuna wenye like uh, they will tell you everything you want to uh-huh, hear when uh-huh. you are dating. Mm-hmm, yeah. For you just to. Ata si dating eh? Kuolewa Shama, tu. Let's let's be real eh. Inakuanga ile ile wakati you are chasing each other. Yeah. So ile wewe they give you all the things uh, you want. They give you all the attention. Ukiingia hakuna kutembea, hakuna kufanya kazi, hakuna kufanya anything. So I'm like, okay. Ulinipata nafanya a specific job. Yes. When we were dating you're okay with me doing that job. Sindio? Hmm. Now we are married you're like quit your job. Be a full housewife. Like I'll do everything for you. Yes, hatujakata. Pesa ya mume ni tamu. At the end of the day, I work for my money. My money is my money. Your, your money, money is, more is a... sweeter. Eh, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a norm. Eh? <laughs> it's a normal thing. Your money is our money. My money is my money. <laughs> so yeah, obviously, nifanye kazi ni spofanya kazi. You'll still provide for me. But this work of mine, it's my comfort zone. It's yani this is something yenye inanipea ili ni the fact that I'm independent. I stand for myself. I fend for myself. Yes, Leo, let's say nakupea I quit my work. I be a full house time housewife ta- I don't mind ha- being a full time housewife. Okay, we don't invest, mind. But you got to invest <laughs> under my name. So my point <laughs> is eh? my point is nikubali kila kitu unasema then all of a sudden you lose your job. Mm-hmm. No. I know you die. <laughs> no. Hatuna mbele hatuna nyuma. You die I have no one. <laughs> <laughs> that is my fear. Umenika <laughs> yeah, I'm ukufe. So I'm like umenidekeza umenzoesha kuwa housewife. Now this is a to- so you niko na watoto. This is a new life, eh? We starting. Sawa. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Will you allow your husband to bring his mother to your house? Ah. Uh, huh. <laughs> tricky <laughs> tricky uh-huh. uh, tricky but your bridge travuka wakati tumefika for now let's focus on the excitement part eh? now we are married umi unaruka story i know no shamu no excitement uh-huh. eh? these things people talk about them when hmm? you are kama wako kwa, kwa dating they don't talk about those things i will bring my mother uh-huh, uh-huh. we are talking about marriage and relationship uh-huh. so marriage anything can happen excitement excitement kwanza We're but that is an excitement the... to me uh-huh. <laughs> it is okay, if it's not me, to you i think okay it's tricky uh-huh. but then again it depends unajua kuna wale mother in law headache like headache uh-huh. uh but yeah i'd love to huh. okay, my future mother in law sikujua unijui but pov i just want to live with my husband like munieje tu inishina For me I don't mind. Uh-huh. My dream is to have all the people uh-huh. kwa na mahali ya wazee, uh-huh. take care of them. Uh-huh. Having one one mother-in-law, not even two, one I can manage. Asa so upate ule mwenye babake alioa wanne. Anataka wote wakuje wakae It's fine, they will join my my group. <laughs> Okay, it's not it's not bad. Okay. But you, you know why I'm saying that? Mm-hmm. Hmm? I know others are bad, they can ruin your marriage. Mm-hmm. But if marriage it was never meant. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Kama ujamaa alikuwa maamua amini hiyo familia, mm-hmm. hata kama jamii na madhaini, ndio atamini na mtu mwingine nje. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Madhaini maybe fike mahali aseme nataka bibi yako ndio anifanyie hii anipikie uh-huh. anifanyie uh-huh. hivi eh. Hapo nitamwambia I don't think I can do that. But if I can employ someone who can cook for her mm-hmm. kama mimi siko because I'm not planning to be in that house mm-hmm. 24/7 maybe nimpigie nimjulie hali nimpeleke outing kama nataka kama ni wazee wanataka kwenda outing it's fine I cannot force them ni zakata na mtu mwenye anapiga kelele mm-hmm. lakini piga kama mimi siko yeah. I, I don't know if you are piga <laughs> tu kelele lakini ni, like kama mimi siko and you are at least just be fake around me just fake it okay <laughs> just fake like it. it i know you don't yeah. like it like me like Because oh, yeah, Jama akiwa na mamake karibu na wewe mm-hmm. that man will have peace. Mm-hmm. So you love the man. 
the man will have peace. Okay. Kumbuka one day your mother can get sick also. Mm-hmm. So it's easy for you yeah, to yeah, bring yeah, your yeah, mother yeah. to your house. Mm-hmm. But kama umekata ya bwana it means pia ya mama yako. Bwana atseta bwana it itakuwa bad picture wewe mwenye kusema unaleta wako. Unaanza aje. Unaanza aje you see. Yeah. So you think una una, una, una hit one decision but una unajua these things going to benefit me mm-hmm. but unajua kuna wale wenye you just got into the marriage mm-hmm. like a newly bride mm-hmm. that honeymoon phase between you and your husband you're getting to know him mm-hmm. he's getting to know you then before anything else this guy goes like nataka mama kujaishi hapo you know you're newly wed you mm-hmm. need your privacy you need mm-hmm. to get to know more about your husband like this husband need to know more about you now ukileta mama atukatai the part of us the our family unelewa mm-hmm. but now ukileta mama between that honeymoon phase mm-hmm. it hinders so umi you're mm-hmm. telling me that honeymoon phase ninyi mmepanga tu niyo wakati harusi nitakuwa honeymoon yenu uh, honeymoon supposed to be honeymoon uh, forever, for all, yes. forever 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 so huyo mama akisema sham nataka kuja kwa hata kama sitakanyaga honeymoon sijaenda Skia. mama kuja skia honeymoon phrase it's not the fact that munenda honeymoon only honeymoon phrase is the period whereby ni wewe na your husband not mother even hata una mtoto bado um, mother in law coming want to you know your husband you will even know him better kama ni snake or not <laughs> We live in no a bit like on the in us women I'm sorry to say this mm-hmm. but I think this sort of mother in law mm-hmm. we are installing kwa watoto wadogo sana wasisika wasana kama sisi mm-hmm. <laughs> which is not good mm-hmm. it's not fine by the way like not all mother in laws are bad because us chakwa mother in law ya mtu and we are not bad digital yes mm-hmm. digital are even bad than kenyeji by the way <laughs> So but we are going to do it's good because we know about analog. <laughs> <laughs> no. About analog. I know. Mini team demo Facebook. <laughs> okay, by the way, mother in laws not all are bad. See what you are buying. It's like we say me, i dunia kuna wazuri na kuna wabaya. Exactly. It's so kuna mother in law wabaya kuna mother in law wazuri. Mm-hmm. Jifunze kuishi na mother in law. Mm-hmm. Vile inatakikana. Ukiona imeshindikana, mhm. Uh-huh. Trust me, mwenye atajitoka hiyo nyumba. Because of the chaos. Mhm. And nikiona imeshindikana mahali and you try to solve because you've tried. Come on, try. It's it's easier for you to let go of something. It's easier for you to move on. Lakini kama hujawahi ku try, you can't know your strength. Okay, mimi madhendo akiwa ni mtu mwenye ni mdogo mdogo. Si mtu mzee. Mhm. I don't think I want you in my house and you're not sick. <laughs> Do you know why? Eh? Uh-huh. I don't think she needs my help. Okay. Lakini kama ni mzee. Mhm. Eh, hata kama si mgonjwa. Hata ukuja uniharibie goma wewe haribu tu. Utamalizana na Mungu yako. I don't mm-hmm. even care. Lakini like mother in laws obviously kama yeye si mzee na anaweza I'm saying this mea. because mm-hmm. mandugu zangu watakuja kuoa mmoja ameshaoa mm-hmm. lazima nakana sema mother in law are bad and you know your mother is good mm-hmm. you know that mm-hmm. lakini ile mentality yenye society natuwekea kwa akili mother in laws are bad mother in laws are witchcraft mother in law mm-hmm. mother in law mwenye mahali ulienda katongozana ndo wao ndo wabaya <laughs> <laughs> so kuna wazuri na kuna wabaya mm-hmm. So I think you just choose our cards nicely. Well, like you said, hmm? when the mother-in-law is not old, mm-hmm. na anaweza jitegemea. I don't think there is a need yeye kukuja kuna. Yes, need. because she doesn't need. Yeah. You. But once someone ni makam ni mzee mm-hmm. and you see she is someone who needs your help. Yeah. I don't see any problem kwa sababu I don't see any issue kazi yake ni kukua tu pale like you take care of her, you yeah. make sure she is okay, she is fine. It's not bigie. Like I see, know. you see issue. Na ndio comment sec comment section mnaenda kuniingililia. Mimi ni mother in law. Like see him, issue, but I know mm-hmm. it's gonna be hard mm-hmm. because nimekana na wanyanya wenye hata si mother in law wangu. Uh-huh. Hmm? Yeah. It's very hard on me. Yeah. They say words here, they say words here. <laughs> Nani waze? They don't they hata waogopi Mungu. Uh-huh. But do you have a choice? That's why tunarudi our secret chamber. Our first topic was just be confident. It's okay to be okay. Live your fucking life, eh? So if you love yourself and confident, mm-hmm. 
Well, that mother-in-law, that stupid mother-in-law. Will, at, 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 <laughs> stupid and then you're the one no, who was. <laughs> no, that stupid mother-in-law. Uh-huh. That's what I mean. Unajua, he won't even break you. Unajua, the the day, fuck you with your son. At the end of the day, what I believe is, when you come to the house, you don't pay them that much attention. When you come to the house, you don't pay them that much attention. I know. You don't pay them that much attention. When you come to the house, you don't pay them that for a longer time. Mm-hmm. They come to change. So, they come to say aya ah, ujamaa hana neno hata kama hata kama wanamwatak familia watu wa nje wanaona yeah na god sees after all and so then again shamu mm. what's your take on excitement in marriage what how would you want to be treated once you're in a relationship or a marriage kwa sababu typically a lot of men do this eh? once umesha ingia in a relationship or you are married to them mm. they go like ah huu ni mama watoto ah uni mali yangu like yeah. yani wanakuwa na hiyo comfort zone like you just does i know like they don't make no effort like the dates the dates are buried rest in peace the gifts rest in peace ha huh. vacation trip or rest in peace like <laughs> yo you used to check me like this is the you that i know hmm? and it's not at uko na shida financially it's not that um uko na issue you're facing any issues you una pesa uko tu sawa but now this is the you i know and now you're introducing me to this comfortable nigga who doesn't even try kufanya chochote ku mm-hmm. bring the excitement in you we used to have in the relationship ama marriage mm-hmm. yeah? like ilikuwa dating first like okay in marriage ilikuwa wakati na kutafuta na kufuatilia ni nini now you're married now i'm comfortable uko kwangu like hawendi kokote you know nakomenda ah, momba sana na kuambia ah. like in akira you're dating someone talking stage <laughs> anakupeleka outing ni nini unaelewa i could take vacation wewe unapeleka ng outing wanatoka ngapi mimi sisi pelekwangi <laughs> Yes, I'm sana kupeleka vacation gifts like this person is so caring akienda mahali aone something that inakufaa na kuleta gift without even you asking. Now umejiingiza kwa relationship. Sijawahi pewa gift. Oh, mimi nimepatiwa lakini hayupo. Now umeingia umeingia relationship. Now this person is super comfortable. He does he no longer do those shit for you. Now this is a different person. Unajua gift stuff. Already at the end of the day mm. you're like oh you mtu ame change cuz this is not someone the person i fell in love with this is someone new so only you fell in love with gifts not gift it's, la- it's okay so just say it's your love language so unelewa he used mm. to do this but he's no longer doing this yeah you know that's the excitement part tell me your excitement part about relationship just treat me the way you want me to treat you exactly if you're gonna treat me bad you'll get nothing from me but yeah. i won't give you the bad side but i will keep quiet i'll assume mm-hmm. do you know why i wasn't given gift by people mm-hmm. because they assume i have money mm-hmm. if they buy this for me nitasema awanona ni chip that's their poor excuse i cannot say it's a real thing and so you personally like umeniuliza mimi kwa nini gift napenda ya what's your love language like ni nini my love gifts? language mm-hmm. i love gifts exactly and touch <laughs> you see we ladies love yeah we love gifts yeah, and touch. you know hata kama see something expensive eh? just go out there umeenda kwa duku umeona lollipop unileta hiyo lollipop I'll be like yeah this person thinks of me unaelewa mm. he thinks of me like niko at the back of his mind whenever he goes wherever he is I'm at the back of his mind unaelewa now that's so sweet yeah but now this is someone I'm going a different side and now he's a different person it's not all about me loving what i love but it's about you changing it's mm-hmm. about now you the person that i fell in love cuz i fell in love with someone who thinks about me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and now this is someone you go to just because nishakuwa nimeingia kwa nyumba yake i'm the wife ama i'm the girlfriend now you go to don't go to work don't do this don't do this okay islamically mm-hmm. 
kuna vile tunapewa wa husband respect mm-hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. more than a lot of respect because yeah. we are under under them ah uh, true whether it's marriage or dating once you introduce your partner partner in a specific kind of like okay <coughs> zoesha vibe flani mm-hmm. like you introduce me to a certain vibe and now this vibe is no longer there you know mm-hmm. the excitement is gone yeah. yeah there's this thing that is killing marriage in mm-hmm. somali marriages mm-hmm. whether you're gonna come to me or not mm-hmm. i don't care <laughs> <laughs> so like uh time nilikuwa nafanya counseling mm-hmm. i somalis used to come to me mm-hmm. because i'm a somali so they feel free talking mm-hmm. to me yeah, yeah, yeah. so their men are coming just try to eat no romancing nothing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just carry the clothes finished <laughs> even the woman is not done uh-huh. not even almost yeah. just pour there and just give birth <laughs> so there's this woman came and complained to me about that mm-hmm. oh this man have been doing this and this so I was like okay do you love him yes Have you tried to talk to him? Mm-hmm. No. That's why I came to you. Look, I bet that's a fast fail exam you failed because mm-hmm. you're supposed to talk to your partner first. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Ukiona has key, you have to another plan B. So I was supposed to be plan B not plan A. Mhm. So, nikamwambia I will I will like to see your husband. Yeah. Akaniambia, yeye ni kichwa ngumu, hezi kuja nini. Nikamwambia, give me his number, I'll call him. Nimwambia kuja kwa ofisi. It's something about his wife. Atakuja. So I called. They came together. Then the man akasikia bibi anasema amesema hiyo story. Watch us love bibi kwa ofisi. You know how I love laughing? <laughs> I hate to laugh. Shamu yo mad. No. No. Who does that? That is the fact. I had like I laughed fast because I never expected the slap was a shock <laughs> a man can just do imagine. as he wish because there's two women there so imagine you slapping hmm? yanguke a bibi alafu for me <laughs> for me i was professional because uh-huh. ningekuwa kama siko professional ningemwangia maji nilikuwa nakunywa mm-hmm. i just laughed and nikamwambia okay are you done because i also want her to slap you back mm. akaniangalia hivi wewe ni bibi yangu wewe ukinifanyia anything ngambe bibi kama unataka kama unataka mwanaume kuheshimu mhm muongelesha sahi Kenya utaki how can a man slap you in front of someone mm-hmm. eh namko kwa ofisi kumbe like the woman mm-hmm. aliambiwa na wazazi wake usitoke kwa hiyo marriage mm-hmm. vumilia sisi tumevumilia hata yeah. wakikuua usikuje ni shida yako mm-hmm. so it was an arranged marriage okay. imefika mahali the woman is cheating the man is cheating So you see that scenario. It's toxic. Yes. So the only thing I need to tell people spice your relationship. Amekataa hii mwanamume unataka gani? If someone has seen your body, what else are you hiding? Mm-hmm. Communication, communicate to your partner, you know. Baby, I don't like this. Baby, I love this. Baby, you've changed. Cause for me, I think communication is key. Yes, we want we want excitement in marriage, strong yeah. relationship. But up at na kwa na juu aji, you're not okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, before you seek for anyone's advice, first talk to this partner. I know. If the person, if the partner in like in the picture, how you go willing to listen? Like now, look for a plan B. But in a relationship or a marriage I believe communication is everything. I make kwaza call him. Do something romantic, cook for him like. Yeah. So ukiogopa okay, kuongea na bwanako what you want. Utaongeana na like yeah. What is the need of that marriage? Cuz I believe wanasema acha those who have parents. Yeah. Before you go seek help ya mzazi ama before wende kushtaki your partner kwa mzazi mm. first talk to the partner kwa sababu you know he has done this to you but now ukishaenda kwa wazazi you know this particular person eh mzazi atamchukia cuz anatesa some happen anatesa mwanangu mzazi atamchukia you know but to avoid all that drama 
call your partner mpikie wanaume wanasema nga a way to a man's heart is through his stomach mwandalie bana eh mwandalie before you tell people yeah about your problem I think Mimi is a rush because mm-hmm. I know my mother has a best friend. Mm-hmm. A best friend has a best friend. <laughs> exactly. That best friend has a best friend. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And if you want to last with your man, I think you just have to be patient enough. Even, yeah. if, even if it's going to take years, as long as you can do something. Learn each other's weakness. Mm-hmm. Learn each other's strength. Learn everything about each other. Kuna shida, like before you sleep, prepare him something nice. Make him he f- make him feel nice. Like, I have a question, Omi. Yeah. Let's say you have money. Mm-hmm. You want to make your man happy. Mm-hmm. Can you employ people to do it for you? Why would you employ someone to do something for your husband? You cannot understand. Who told you service? <laughs> <laughs> you know, unajua once uki 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 employ someone. I yes, mean, you have the money. You, you have the money. You can't sour. understand. Uh-huh. For me, uh-huh. Eh? Uh-huh. I want to be. Sita kwa ule bibi wa kingeji kwa ni kila sa. It doesn't have I, to be I, like I that. I can employ a chef. And uh, let me tell you. Nampi kia this the food ni anataka. Na mimi ni kuto pale kumserve. Acha kwa mbi e. Huh? Once you're two, mm-hmm. bado hamna watoto. You don't need the services of anyone. You're just two. Where we na yeye? What if you have a family? It's, huh? Mm. Now that's a different thing but once in a while it's good to remember you need your to husband. spice your marriage and you are yes. busy you're not a machine no, pampa, you, you can employ a chef oh. baby i have a surprise for you your room will be pigia to simo umetengeneza so i was angalia ali angalia usi juku pika oh you're talking about the spice in the bedroom not no. in the stomach no everything imagine <laughs> natengeneza napigia chef anaweza favorite food yake mm-hmm. anatengeneza you know the boss kind of uh, the bossy wife kind of vibe i think that's what i want mm-hmm. because so says ifanya acha nikwambie niko na watoto mm-hmm. na niko na wewe you all went ama unataka attention yangu mm-hmm. so i need a support za mkono mkono sasa so unaona you are talking about the future and i'm talking about the present now Unaelewa getting into the marriage you don't need someone cooking for your husband because it's you and your husband Unaelewa I can bring someone to cook <laughs> so, uh, see Do you that. know why eh uh-huh. See that the, it's, okay everyone the way you is, always call it a honeymoon phrase uh-huh. it's my honeymoon uh, everyone is t- <laughs> entitled to their own opinion Now that's your opinion For me I think pampering my husband involves engage koni I know you love cooking. It's not about loving. I trust you me these days naenda niki nikitoka huko kidogo. But just once like muandalie. Okay, also make him understand. It's going to become a habit. No, make him Mimi understand. Mimi nikiingeje koni nyumbani for a full week. Naona mnanitesa and muandalie and make that a safe place for the both of you. Baby, no, my man is going to have a good life. No. Oh, you're the like, uh-uh. <laughs> and the chef and the maid inshallah inshallah I mean. but now you know you try to bring the romance in the kitchen baby come help me help me chop the veggies mini pike like the romance in the kitchen here romance ya kitchen you try transfer kwa balcony ni watu wana like kitchen no everyone is entitled to that once a while kitchen mhm Yeah, and once in a while. Once a while. That's a yeah, must. That's a treat. Lakini like yeah. no, once a while mimi ku engage koni. Exactly. But once chefs are there, you understand? Huh. <laughs> For me what I can tell you is Eh? Wakitaka wamchukue is I don't care. Kwa sababu umefika. <laughs> Now it's a jealousy girl talking like <laughs> yeah, I, very, I, I know. That's why I'm laughing at you. No. Eh, umi, hii maisha imenifundisha. Do you know I've I've been single for many of my years. Mm-hmm. Mpaka niki date it's awkward. You look like the opposite mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. Hey, I feel it's awkward. So akienda I think I'll have peace. Mhm. Kama zoea yangu. Yes. But if someone umi leo hii, let's put this way. Eh? Mhm. Bwana kwa njema kwambie usipike hii wiki yote. Mm. Someone comes and cook for you guys. Mm-hmm. Huh? and I'll find everything and I'll come just relax massage everything I open the you okay no I want you to answer me don't you love that yes or no I'll give you a point 
mm-hmm. you love it yes yeah, imagine me giving him every day <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> i'm innocent what are you talking about giving him that your your mapenzi ya chef <laughs> mapenzi ya chef that's why i'm working hard ya nipe ni mpe kama hanipi you know they also love to be pampered right Yes. Yeah. So kuna ule mwenye ana prefer wao mfanyie. You know why men go outside? Uh-huh. Why? To get those so. things I'm saying and they're doing it for other women. Wewe jikaze kwa jikoni, pika choka. Sisi tunaongoja huko nje. Okay. So you mean I should not cook for my man? Cook for your man. At the end of the day he gender ni hile hile. You do everything na baada atenda kuchi. So why are you struggling kwa nani? Kwa jikoni kujiuliza. That's the way I do my act of service to him. Anyway, mimi bwana kuja tuna pesa. Nalipa chef. Na nani ajaji bwana mwenye ana pesa? We me, all do. Me, I end up dating men who doesn't have money. So you know, go far. So I'm like, me and me I do the same. So I'm like, do I attract one? Please, if you say I'm dating, okay, not even dating. If mwana anaingia kwa marriage and the guy is broke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the guy is broke. <laughs> yes, I need to be here ni niweke maneno because men Nimejaribu ku change watu bana lakini wachenge. Wanaenda kusema tutakuwa ACC ni magold diggers. We love money. Mwanamke mwenye apendi pesa kimbia avai long yaenda tembe. Ah ah. Wanaume mwenye una date mwanamke apendi pesa kimbia cuz you'll be poor your entire life who will push you to go no one <laughs> who will tell you i want this a particular stress i go to pale i understand i understand so shamu to kikafunga mm. how do you suggest men will keep that excitement in marriage not only men kwa sababu at the end of the day this man mm. and i end up kukuwa comfortable because you're also comfortable kwa sababu yes. they are also big babies by the way they mm. get jealous too they mm. want to be pampered too ngadie ni maongelea agenda ni mwasaidia tu also like how do you suggest for that excitement ikuwe pale the excitement yeah fanya kinyo unataka ufanyiwe mm-hmm. ya kwanza mm-hmm. ya pili mm-hmm. loving is fun mm-hmm. acha kujinyima mm-hmm. give it your whole ikikataa ena patana mwingine your whole mm-hmm. so you guys sema mnaingia kwa marriage imekata toka tafute ingine atoke okay. toka tafute ingine do you know why i'm saying that uh-huh. they end up killing each other <laughs> <laughs> haya tuende kwa wale wenye wataki ku give up na marriage yao <laughs> you want to fight <laughs> no that is the fact <laughs> Ukitaka ku keep marriage yako and you know this guy ako capable na unataka marriage yenu last this guy yeah, loves you yeah spice the marriage wanaume anaweza kuwa mjinga kutojua ku spice mm-hmm. mwanamke put more effort than him mm-hmm. you won't die you are keeping mwanamke ni boma mm-hmm. umi mm-hmm. leo hii mwanamke akilegea hiyo mwanaume hana anaheshima kwa society yeah. lakini yule mwanamke akijeshimu mm-hmm. ashike boma vizuri it's perfect so as talking about this marriage kuna vitu tunamaanisha kuna vitu we are joking mm-hmm. na kuna vitu we are supposed to learn from it yeah. so it's a learning process it's a learning process marriage just spice it up okay spice you last come on spice it up divorce is coming <laughs> so guys uh, my parting shot ni ya kuwa you know we ladies eh, at the end of the day wanaume wanapenda kubembelezwa na kudekezwa in as much as he was doing something for you but now unaona amelak maybe he's just getting too comfortable like you're making him too comfortable like communicate tell this man alafu pia like my partner said fanya kinyo unataka kufanyiwa like if you want the gifts get him the gifts like Yeah, treat him. They love to be spoiled. Wanajifanya ngatu wa ma alpha. Sini mabazu but Buddha, the big baby. So at the end of the day as long as you want the excitement part, you have to go out of your comfort zone where you are with your husband. Yeah? 
La, pamba this humans. Wana jifanya nga ma gangsta, lakini hakuna lolot. These are secret chambers. We tell secret as it is. Uh-huh. Thank you for watching. Hashtag secret chambers. Self love. Tuko pale YouTube Afro TV two five four. Tuko TikTok Afro TV two five four and Facebook Afro TV two five four. Next time, adios.